Hey, spark plugs and little nugs. <sighs> Lost my water bottle, so I'm using my running handheld. Hey everybody, my name is John and welcome to ADITW, a day in the word, the internet's favorite Bible study. Today we are doing something that we haven't really done before on this show. This is really brand new, sort of. Look at us. Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Today on ADITW, we are starting a brand new series that we are calling How To Bible. For those of you who are normal viewers of this show, you know that we go week by week tackling and going through one chapter of scripture at a time. But I realized that maybe we missed something. Because the more I talk to people about the Bible, and even people who have been Christians for a really long time, most Christians actually aren't really sure how to read it. They're intimidated by it, or they get frustrated when yet again they find themselves reading a passage that they just don't understand. And as I was sort of thinking about this, I realized that even for those of us who have grown up in church, we are constantly told, read your Bible, read your Bible. What are you supposed to do? Read your Bible, study your Bible. And we've been told so much the importance of reading this book, and yet it's pretty rare that someone has actually sat us down and taught us how to read this book. And that, in a nutshell, is what this series is about. So over the next four weeks, I'm gonna be taking you through some basics of how to read this book. And today we're gonna start with the most basic question of what is the Bible? Obviously, if you have been around church and around faith for a while, you've heard a bunch of different answers to this question. The Bible is God's word. The Bible is truth. The Bible is holy. It's scripture. Maybe someone got a little fancy with you and called it God's love letter to humanity. And while all of those descriptions are true, let's start by talking about what is the Bible literally. Quite literally, the Bible is a collection of sacred texts or scriptures that Christians consider to be the product of divine inspiration and a record of the relationship between God and humans. It was written by over 40 different authors over the course of hundreds, even thousands of years. This means that the living conditions and the culture of an author in the Old Testament were completely different from those of an author in the New Testament. The Bible is also made up of 66 individual books, which span a number of different genres. There's the historical slash narrative genre. This is a description of events or wars or genealogies throughout the history, specifically with the nation of Israel. We find sections of the Bible that are laws or commands, specifically the 613 commands that God gave his people, the Israelites. There is what's considered to be wisdom literature in the Bible. This is collected wisdom from different generations of godly people, teaching us how to live well in a godly world. We also find what's called psalms or poetry throughout the Bible. These poems often act as sort of a diary for the author. These are prayers or even conversations with God. There's a whole section of the Bible devoted to prophecy. These are stories and experiences from both major prophets and minor prophets, people who hear God's word and communicate it to his people. We have apocalyptic literature in the Bible. This is often an author's vision of what the future or end times will look like. Mainly in the New Testament, we have what are called epistles. These are letters written by the apostles to different churches or people within those churches. And finally, we have the gospels. These are the four narrative stories depicting the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. Huh, <sighs> so many genres. It's like the Bible is its own Barnes and Noble. So the Bible has a lot of different components to it. But at the same time that the Bible is all of these things, it is also divinely inspired by God. And so hopefully what you have seen through this video is that the Bible is unlike almost any other book that you are likely to read. The problem that most of us run into is we try and read the Bible like it's just a biography or like it's just 
a user's manual or like it's just a story. But if we truly want to understand this book, then we can't read it like any other book we might read, because hopefully you have seen that the Bible is truly unique. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it set a foundation for any future Bible study that you do. Before you go, I wanted to give a big thank you and shout out to all of our supporters on Patreon, specifically Tyler Woody, who is a producer of this show through his generosity on Patreon. For those of you who don't know, you can give as little as a dollar a month and you can ensure that these videos, these Bible studies continue to be made. If that is something that you're interested in, if you want to help partner with us in doing this ministry, then please visit the link in the description down below and you can get hooked up today. That is all I have for you right now. I will see you all next week for the next edition of How To Bible. I love you all. Keep being awesome.